This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola or Shima Kinde. Jesus, I believe in you and the sacrifice you made and the power that has overcome both hell and the grave. You handed me new life and the keys to victory. Now I believe, I believe that there's no other name I can name that is greater than all go sagbara to tabiti jesu go sagbara to tabiti baba go sagbara to tabiti jesu agbara Baba go so ruka to da biti jesu oruka 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 to jo ruka la agbara 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 to ja agbara lo blessed be the name of the lord yeah. hallelujah Oh, welcome to Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning from wherever you are listening or watching. Let's just worship God this morning. No power like the power of Jesus. No name, no name. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Thank him for this beautiful Monday morning. For his promises are real. His grace real. His mercy endures forever. Father, we thank you. We love you. We give you all the praise. There is none like you. Heaven and I will pass away, but your word will never pass away. Thank you for everyone watching this morning, everyone listening. Glory to your name for what you are about to unveil to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank God for your life and your family and everyone around you. Welcome to Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I want to share something very deep. Very, very deep this morning. In my account for why good people die or perish at times, there is an instruction in God's Word. See, there are no meaningless details in God's Word. Every scripture is important. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. And that you study to be quiet and to mind your own business. Wow. So mind your business is in the Bible. Emphatically, yes. How important is this instruction? I'm going to share with you a story in the Bible. A very deep, very pathetic story of somebody who loved God but did not obey this instruction. You see, because of the internet, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and all the grams, <laughs> in our time, we have information on every side. Be careful of having an opinion on every matter and dabbling into every discussion. I don't know why the Lord brought this to my heart, to my attention, but I know for somebody watching me or listening to me, Listen, many people in this generation accept the in this warning. We get themselves into trouble by dabbling into what does not concern them. 
It's a spiritual instruction. It's a command. Be quiet. Mind your own business. When you don't, you can get into trouble. You can get into what does not concern you that can injure you. You see, all promises of God are within certain premises. If you go into what God has not called you into, there might not be divine protection for you there. There is a king here that I want us to read about. In 2 Chronicles 35, by the name Josiah. Let me give you a background story. If you start from chapter 34, Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign. He was a king that purged the land of idolatry. He sanctified and sanitized the temple. Israel, in Judah, Judah had gone into idolatry. Josiah came in as a king. He fixed the land. He returned people back to God. Idol was taken away from the land, even as a young man, eight-year-old boy. He did so well. But you see, if you read down, this is where the painful thing happened. From verse 20 downwards, in chapter 35, this same Josiah, as he was going about creating revival in Jerusalem, a man by the name Nico, who was the king of Egypt, was going to attack another nation. And Josiah carried the army of the Lord and he went to obstruct obstru Nico. And Nico said, Josiah, we all know about what God is doing through you in Jerusalem. I am not coming to your country. God has sent me to go and attack another country. It's none of your business. But the Bible said Josiah would not listen. Josiah went to battle with Nico, the king of Egypt. And Nico injured him. He was carried away from the battle, wounded, and he died. Men and brethren, I remember as a very young boy when I first read the story, I almost protested to God, and Lord, why should the story of a good man end like this? A young man that refused to participate in idolatry like his predecessors, who decided to follow God all the way, died prematurely like that. Imagine a king of Egypt just wasted him. Then I saw this instruction. You cannot say because God is with you, you start getting involved what does not concern you. At times we love to have opinion about every matter. Just open Facebook and see. People want to post about everything, comment on every matter. When you do that, you are opening doors for battles that you are no business fighting. Listen to me. The Lord has given you strength, enough for your assignment. There's no extra strength for an assignment that does not belong to you. People are getting into battles, putting their head in what does not concern them and coming out as a casual thing. One of the disciplines of Christianity is to mind your business. The stories of other churches, the stories here and there, you know, we just like to dabble into every subject matter. Sometimes I look at people and I'm like, is it difficult to say I don't know? Is it difficult to say it does not concern me? But young people have an opinion about every matter, everything. You want to be part of every discussion going on. You want to say something about everything going on. You will get yourself into trouble. You are a good man. Use your energy for what God has created you for. Don't die an unnecessary death like Josiah. It's a warning coming this morning. You see your place of work. Focus on your work. Not on what other people are doing. That's a warning. That's an instruction. Pay attention to what concerns you. You are blessed. Till I come your way again next week, Monday. This is Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. God is good and His mercy endures forever. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Mercy Moments today. To watch previous episodes of Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola, please follow us on all our social media platforms. God bless you.